Hi, I'm Ryan Stamansky, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're in one of the ship's five-inch gun houses, and uh, we have a question that I've actually gotten several times recently from viewers. Why don't modern ships have more guns? And, uh, you know, th there's a short answer that one could type back about that and obsolescence and range and things like that. But why do anything short when you can make a 15 minute video about it? When New Jersey is designed, built, and going to the war zone, the number of guns being put on the ship is increased exponentially at every stage of the process. However, post-World War II, the guns immediately start to come off and they continue to come off throughout the ship's career. So by the end of the war, many of the 20 millimeter guns have been removed. Pretty early into the 50s, the last 20 millimeters come off. And then uh, by the 60s, all the 40 millimeters come off. In the 80s, they add some new systems that uh, force some of the five inch guns to come off. So consistently throughout the ship's career, post-World War II at least, we are losing guns. And that, uh, is a microcosm of what's happening in the larger Navy. You see the sh classes of ships that are still being built, ships like uh, the Des Moines class, the first post-war heavy cruisers that we're building. They uh, have a similar main battery, a similar secondary battery, but the uh, anti-aircraft battery starts to be smaller. And then uh, you get other ships like uh, Boston and Canberra, they start to take gun turrets off and replace them with missiles. And then as newer cruisers are built, they might have a handful of guns. And it gets us all the way up to the modern day when ships like the Arleigh Burke destroyers have a single five inch gun mount. That's all, one gun barrel. And they have a couple of 25 millimeter guns and they might have a 20 millimeter phalanx, uh, but a really, really light gun armament. So if guns are such a proven technology, why does that number keep going down? So the, the main reason is a ship should very rarely get into range of a target that can do it any damage because of its missiles. These five inch guns have a range of uh, nine, maybe 10 miles on a good day. More modern five inch guns uh, with higher calibers, probably have a slightly longer range, 13, 14, maybe even 15 miles. And in theory, there are extended range munitions or ways to extend the range of the munitions if the Navy wanted to use them, uh, which could get the range even higher. But they're not gonna match missiles where our Harpoon anti-ship missiles on New Jersey have a range of over 80 miles. Our Tomahawk cruise missiles have ranges of hundreds of miles depending on the variant. Uh, so even though missiles are far more complex to maintain, uh, far more complex to build, far more expensive, they have significantly, significantly greater range and accuracy. And uh, so that largely obsoletes guns on modern ships. There is still a place for guns in the modern Navy. The reason the Iowas keep getting brought back is because of their shore bombardment capability, which has never been taken over by another ship. Uh, quite simply put, they can put a tremendous amount of ordnance on an object within 20 or so miles of the coast. And that is significantly cheaper than expending aviation gas to deliver that ordnance in the form of uh, bombs or uh, expending that many missiles. That said, if a more modern battleship was built today, it would not have as many gun barrels as New Jersey has. Why would they reduce the number of barrels on that? Why do the number of barrels on destroyers go from, say, six with a gearing, to three with a Far Sherman, to one with an Arleigh Burke? It's because of the ammunition capacity. The gearing has manually loaded guns very similar to these ones on Battleship New Jersey. There is a uh, slower rate of fire associated with that. By the far Sherman, you start to get automatic guns. So you can fire more shells from a single mount, uh, but you have a ship with a roughly similar hull size. So certainly the same size or smaller 
dedicated to a magazine space. So you cannot put as many barrels on there or you will expend your ammunition much quicker. I, I suspect that's the main problem the Des Moines class had. They have the same number of eight inch guns as earlier Baltimore class cruisers, but they have a significantly higher rate of fire. So they shoot through their capacity, what, three, four times as quickly, and, and they cannot uh, keep their magazines full. Will this trend continue? I don't think it will, actually. Missiles are getting more capable and therefore more expensive. And so the, the number that any given ship can carry and the number that any given ship is willing to expend uh, is becoming lower and lower. So what sort of ordinance is going to replace that? The work that USS Kearney is doing in the Red Sea, shooting down drones, uh, the, the number of targets that she has engaged means that she's almost certainly not doing it with her missiles or she'd already be out. I suspect that mass drone swarms are going to remain a part of modern combat and that those drones are eventually going to become more hardened against electronic warfare. And so we will start to see more flak type guns being installed on ships to cheaply shoot those down as opposed to expending expensive missiles to do the job. But for shooting at other ships or shore bombardment, we're unlikely to see more than the single five inch guns that are on board modern ships. What do you think? Have missiles fully replaced guns and the single guns on uh, Arleigh Burke destroyers are already obsolete? Or uh, do you think we should be putting more guns on them to add more capabilities against drones, shore bombardment, and other things in the future? Let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, like I said earlier, I expect to see more gun systems installed on ships, especially older ships that don't have enough power uh, for laser systems or other big electronic warfare systems that are gonna be added to newer ships being built in the future. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about us in the channel. Thanks for watching.